Hello, and welcome to my tutorial on how to make a Minecraft server on a Mac. Now there's six things you're going to need before we start. And that would be a browser, terminal, text edit, port map, Minecraft, and a new folder. And right now I'm going to create the new folder and I'm going to name it my Minecraft server. Okay, so once you've created a new folder and called it My Minecraft Server or whatever you're going to name it, I'm going to move it up here, and I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to type in Minecraft. Okay, so I'm going to click on the first link. It's going to take me to the Minecraft website. Make sure you're logged in. Go under Steve to where it says Download. Click on Download. Then you're going to go down here where it says Multiplayer Server. I'm going to go down to the very bottom where it says minecraft underscore server dot jar. And you're going to click on that. Go click cancel. Then go into your downloads. Select it. And then put it in your folder that you just made. Just getting in the way here. So we're going to drop it into the folder. Okay, now that that's one part of the puzzle. Let's get the second. So the second part of this is going to this Wikipedia article. Now, go down to where it says Step 2, and click on Mac OS X Instructions, and you're going to copy this text right here. Right-click, Copy. Now, you go into your text edit, go into Format, Make Plain Text, then you're going to paste the things you copied from here into your text edit. Now, change where it says XMS 1G, or both of these, to 2G. This gives the server enough memory to run. Then click on the red X, click save, save it as start dot command. This is going to basically be the thing that starts up your server. Take that and put it into the Minecraft folder. Next, double click on the Minecraft folder, open it up, and then before double clicking on the start dot command, you're going to open up terminal. And inside the terminal, you're going to type in chmode a space, chmode space, a plus x space. Then go grab your start.command, drop it into the area, the terminal. So it says chmode space, a plus x space, and then drop your start.command. Then hit enter. 3, 2, 1. Okay, so now your start.command has permission to run. You can close out the terminal. Now I'm going to double click on the start.command inside of the Minecraft folder. It's going to start up the jar. It's going to give me all the files that I need. But the last thing I need to do is port forward to make sure that people can connect to my game. That's the last part. So we're going to, everything works. I'm going to type in stop. Stopping the server. Saving chunks. Done exit out of both of these terminal and the Minecraft server. I'm then going to go back into Google. I'm going to type in port map. Okay, so it's the first link. Whoops. By coding monkeys. I'm going to scroll down to where it says for land lovers. I'm going to click on download the application. I'm going to take it from my downloads. I'm going to drag it onto my desktop. Double click it. I'm going to take the map with the anchor on it, I'm going to double click it, open, and I'm going to take off whatever I already have. So this is what it would look like if you just downloaded it. You're going to make sure this is to on, then you're going to go down to the corner where there's a little plus sign. You're going to click on the plus sign. In the local port, you're going to put in 25565, and it's going to do both the desired public port and local port. Don't change any of the settings that are already here. Description, I'm going to put in Minecraft. Click Add Mapping. Now it's going to start mapping, and while it's doing that, I'm going to start up Minecraft. Logging in. Okay, now it's time to make the server. So I'm going to get rid of the server that I already made. I'm going to click Add Server. I'm going to leave it as its preset. 
And the server address, this is important, you need to have the numbers exact. So for me it would be 71.118.183.55. Now here's the other part. Put a colon, and then whatever it says for the public port, that's going to be after the colon. So for me it's going to be 25605. I'm going to click done, and I'm going to click refresh. Actually, the server's not even on right now, so start server up. Basically, you have to give these numbers exactly to anyone who wants to play on your server, otherwise it's not going to work. Okay, so here I can connect, and I can play with my friends. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you have any suggestions or feedback, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll always try to get back to you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.